All right, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to a late in the day question and answer session. Hopefully you got your favorite beverage handy. We were out at the club, we're all sitting around talking. Somebody said, hey, is there an inexpensive way you can make your own kind of antique kind of a stain? And I said, yeah, there is. And I go, I saw this once before. I tried it, I go, I'll explain to you what I did. I went to the dollar store and I got a container. It's like this, you get two or three of them for a buck, whatever it is. And then I turned around and I bought for a dollar, I bought steel wool. Now don't buy the super coarse, buy the medium coarse or buy the fine, whatever they have in there. And then get yourself some distilled vinegar. Now it's all a dollar, so I got three dollars so far. All right, so I come home, I fill this container up, I turned around and I kind of shredded it and I stuffed it in there. Then I put the top on it, I shook it up, I let it sit. A day later I didn't see much change and I thought, well maybe the article is just a bunch of crap. Well, I let it sit for a total of five days and I shook it up and about the sixth or seventh day, most of that steel wool was gone. Then I took an old t-shirt and I poured it and I kind of strained it using an old t-shirt. And that got out all the little flaky things and impurities and I came up with this. Now, it will settle on you, you know, over time, the solids. Okay, so you're gonna have to shake this. But this is what happened and I'll show you. Now, this is like, a light shade of what we're going to do and I'll explain that to you if you take a look at this piece of wood this is pine I got one coat here and I've got four coats over here of this mixture now if I didn't put that much of the vinegar in here and I made it more concentrated this would get darker a lot faster but I wanted to be able to control the shade of what I was doing so I made it like this on my first go around and I thought well you know I kind of like this I went ahead and I swiped it on there and I thought that might have raised the grain a little bit. So I sanded it again with uh, 220 because this is fairly well sanded when I started this. So I sanded over with 220 just in case it raised the grain. Then I didn't have to do that anymore. And then I put the other four coats on there and I got this color here which has come out fairly dark. Now I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna put on one more coat just to show you. But this is with one coat. If you look at this side, this is with one coat, this is with two. So you can see how it gradually, that color variation will change. So here, let's go ahead and just do this. I'll put one extra coat on that dark side. And I put it on maybe every hour or two and then I let it dry overnight before I do anything with it. But here it is, okay. and. Let me just dip this in here and if you leave this on there super wet of course it'll come out a lot darker now if you don't want it that dark after you get it super wet you can turn around with a dry cloth and swipe it off but there you go okay so this is an inexpensive way to make kind of an antique -y kind of uh you know a stain all right so one way to do it if you know a better way, drop it in the comment below. Let me know what you do. Otherwise, you might consider this on some other future project. And when you finally put that top finish on here, it looks really nice. And it's not that bland white wood that you originally bought out at the big box. So like I showed you in my past video, when it came to that picnic table, I radically changed how the color of the wood looked, but I used dyes then. This is more of a homemade kind of a stain. You can make it too it will go a long way. I mean, if you, you know, consider what the price is and you can do like three or four of these containers, you can do them in different strengths. You can put more steel wool in one, less in one, you can play around and you'll have all these variations. I did that at one time and then I just settled on this one right here where I filled it up and I figured I will just swipe and put multiple coats on until I get it kind of down to the darkness that I want. Okay, so this is five coats. This works for me. All right, folks, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got something out of it. Maybe, you know, you can let me know what you do. Drop it in the comment below. Let me know if you like the videos and I'll keep bringing you how-to projects and I'll bring you deals when I run across them on tools or gadgets. So we do lots of electronic stuff, lots of sales, all this stuff. Click subscribe and I hope you keep following me. I'll see you on the next video. You folks have a great day.